Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas! And this is the first of the HKB Christmas Specials 2023. What do we have in store for viewers, Shaz? What's the first Christmas episode? It is our top five physical media releases of 2023. Fantastic. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And we hope you stay with us. Please like and subscribe and all that great stuff. And uh, for everybody returning, thank you for sticking with us. We really do appreciate it. So yeah, the criteria for this episode, it's got to be a release that has come out this year. And other than that, Chaz and I just had to agree on the releases. There were so many good releases this year, so many good boutique labels out there. And we've really enjoyed what's been coming out this year. And I think next year is looking fantastic too. So, would you like to give them a rundown of our honourable mentions first, Shaz? Indeed. So first on our list of honourable mentions is the Psycho box set. What a fantastic box set this was from Arrow. We got the 4K edition and it's, it's fantastic. I couldn't remember just how good the other films were. We've always loved Psycho, but watching 2, 3 and 4, what a good time. And uh, it's just packaged so lovely, that set amazing box set next one the brave archer box set so this was from shout factory and we just got that at the time we started doing the shawl timber videos mm -hmm. which was nice because it gave us some good material for our episode on little dragon maiden with leslie chung those films they i thought they looked fantastic it's the only one of the shout factory shawl sets that we do have but it's a beautiful release i like the artwork on the covers and um, they're all spectacular films aren't they so absolutely stunning release that was next we have undefeatable we were both pretty impressed with this vinegar syndrome release weren't we i mean it's a cynthia rothrock film and there's like different versions of it on the release and wow shaz when it stacked with extras it was great release Next we have Door. We covered this on the podcast, or at least we covered Door 1 on the podcast. Third Window Films, I mean they've really been putting mm. out some great physical media releases. They've really stunned us haven't they this year with what they've been doing. And we're starting to develop a bit of an addiction. It wouldn't <laughs> have been um, fair if we didn't mention this in the honourable mentions because it's great. These yeah. like, were lost films and... Brilliant. Fantastic. Brilliant. And our last honourable mention is the Rich and Famous box set. From Eureka. Uh, Eureka consistently, year after year, putting out great titles. And I'm pretty partial to those Taylor Wong movies. Um, I've had multiple versions of them, right back to the Made in Hong Kong days. And um, yeah, this is, this is the definitive edition of those films. They look great. There's extras on the lovely package. Was just so thrilled to get that. So that's the honourable mentions out of the way. So do you think we should go in reverse order, Shaz? Yes. Yes, let's go with number five. Okay, and then coming in at number five is... Election one and two. Chameleon Films. Oh my goodness. I mean, we, you know, we love Johnny Tell films. Mm. And you know that I absolutely adore Simon Yam. And when we received this, thank you very much, Chameleon Films. We were so chuffed. It was after we did a talk with Will Gish from Hong Kong Cinema Appreciation Society. If you're not seen those episodes, perhaps go and have a look. Because we have two really in-depth discussions mm. on election and election part two. And now uh, part one is on Hong Kong Cinema Appreciation Society, part two is on our channel. We had a great discussion and Chameleon happened to notice us talking with Will and they sent us a copy of this and a whole box full of goodies. Yeah. But um, yeah. fantastic work they've done. We hope we get some more from Chameleon Films yeah. next year. I, I don't mean more sent to us, but some more releases yeah. because yeah. they're a promising company and they packaged everything lovely and great extras. So well done Chameleon Films, very impressed. Our fourth pick is Fight Back to School from 88. How could we not have this? I mean, 
Stephen Chow films and, and these ones particularly for us were an awful lot of fun. Mm. It's a great box. It just looks fantastic. I really love the box that they did for this. The artwork on it is beautiful. And the films, there's so much fun. There's so much fun. So if you guys haven't got this one, please pick it up. It's, you know, one that every... It's bonkers. It's bonkers. And I think every Hong Kong movie fan should, you know, pay these a visit. Beautiful box set. So yeah. another great job from 88 films. Third place, Shaz. The Katsuhito Ishii box set from Third Windows. This was a real eye-opener for us, wasn't it? And shout out to Huss at Touch of Film. He's kind of put us on a track with this stuff. And, yeah. And the films in this and the short films, fantastic. And yeah. I just love the way they package everything. Beautiful box set, isn't it? They do. Mm. And the thing with the Third Window films is the, the value of the extras they're so yeah. good mm -hmm. you know they yeah. really know what they're putting on there it's always worthwhile there's no fuller stuff on the disc it's all good and um yeah if you've not got into any of these third window releases yet i say you're missing out mm. yeah. take a look and this is a particularly good one so uh that's our third place no is that our fourth place or third? that was our third place that was our third place well there we go so cranking it up now, last two slots. Ooh. So in second place, we have Lady Reporter from Eureka. How could we not? How could we not? I mean, there's so many extras on it and you've got the different cuts. Yeah, yeah. Great commentaries. I mean, you've got Frank Jen and Vincent Lynn and you've got Mike and Anna. You've got Cynthia Rothrock and Mine Hoy interview, mm. you know, sadly passed this year. Great actor. This this was um and, and the, the sleeve from Darren Wheeling. I love yeah, that cover. Yeah. I really great do like artwork. that sleeve. That yeah. is great artwork on that. And um yeah, it was just one of those films that I really, really wanted. And I think they did it justice. I think Eureka did a bang up job yeah, with this. Definitely. Incredible work. You're going to so reveal it. That leads us Drum on roll. to our first place. It is the Bruce Lee box set from Arrow. It had to be, didn't it? You know, despite any problems with the delivery, which was a shambles. I'm looking at you, Arrow. It was a shambles, and people do care when they spend that kind of money. Yeah, yeah. But... That being said... On the bright side, it was a fantastic release. It was the release. It was... The release of the year. I'm, I'm still in shock at how good it is. All that footage, all that work. I mean, will this ever be topped? I'm not sure. Mm, mm. If you guys out there are Bruce Lee fans, that box is definitely, definitely essential. Footage you've never seen. And so yeah. much of it. The, the extras... Absolutely incredible release and hats off to RL for this and you know if they've tidied up the delivery service brilliant um, I, I can't recommend it enough. I know you've got the single edition 4k releases now but that box with the booklets yeah. and everything in it there was mm -hmm. so much in it incredible release and subsequently our number one release of the year. So Shaz I guess that's it for our very first Christmas episode. It is indeed. Any parting words for our viewers, friends and followers? No, just that these were great releases and if you haven't already picked them up, they are definitely on our, well, our top recommendations for the year. <laughs> okay, fantastic. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like, you know, just to let us know that you enjoyed it. And other than that, we hope to see you on our next Christmas episode. Thank you for watching. We love you all and have a great Christmas.